Hi, I'm Mandy Gruz, Public Services Manager at Tiffin Seneca Public Library. Welcome to our October Make It at Home Craft Program. Today we'll be making a book nook for your bookshelf. Provided in the kit is a shoebox, fairy lights, book pages, a backdrop of a bookshelf, a miniature chair and side table template, a miniature paper rug, miniature paper wall art, and a book. You will need to provide scissors, glue, and tape. First thing you're going to do is cut the lid from the shoe box. Unravel the fairy lights. You're going to find a gap in the back of the box to feed the lights through. If you're unable to feed the lights through the back, you may need to disassemble the box, put the lights through, and then reassemble it. Once you have the lights pulled through, you're going to tape the battery pack to the back. Once you have the fairy lights in place, you're going to turn it over, put the lights off to the side. I raveled mine just to keep it out of the way. And then you're going to use the book pages to wallpaper the inside and along the sides of the box. You can do this however you like. I like the overlap look, but if you want to do it straight across, whatever your preference is. The next thing you're going to do is cut out the backdrop of the bookshelf. I made it approximately the size of the back of the box, but you might need to trim it to get it to fit. Just check to make sure it fits inside. And place glue on the back. Press it in place. The next thing you're going to do is tape your fairy lights inside. The first option that I did was to put it on the top like a ceiling light. But you can also put it around the inside as an outline. Decide where you want to put it in place and tape it down. Now that I have my fairy lights in place, I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to next cut out the chair template along the black solid lines. And as you can see along this side, there is a spot that you need to cut a little slit. But for the video, I'm going to use a larger template so it's easier to see. You're just going to fold on the dotted lines. When it's done, it's going to look like this. We're going to glue it in place. So first, put a dab of glue along this tab. Press it to the back of the chair. Hold my into place better. There we go. Then we're going to put the legs along the front. I'm going to do the same with the table. For the table, there's four spots that you'll need to cut a slit. 
to get the legs to fold. Fold the fat in. And glue each corner. Assemble the legs. Once you have the table and chairs assembled, you're going to cut out the rug and the artwork. I'm going to glue the artwork along the sides to access the wall. And do the same on the other side. These are just free printables I found online. I typed in paper dollhouse and I was able to find the furniture, the rugs and the artwork. So feel free to print out whatever you think would look best. Place the rug in the bottom. Add the furniture. And the book. If you'd like to share your creation with us, Post a picture in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me and happy crafting.